God bless you, loved ones. Welcome to the Word with Chester. Today we'll begin study in the third chapter of the Acts of the Apostles. If you would like to contact me for any reason or uh, ask a question about this ministry or our subject matter, if you'd like to send me a letter of encouragement or send a tax-deductible gift to this ministry, you can write me at the Word with Chester Ministries, Post Office Box 200483, San Antonio, Texas, 78220. You can also contact me at my website, www.poemsbychester.com. It would bless me to no end to hear from you. I also want to thank God for you that sent me those wonderful thumbs up. It blesses me. That's like you're saying amen to the words that are coming out of my mouth. And I want you to know how much you mean to me. Today we were gonna, we're going to begin our study in the third chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, verse 1. Please read along with us if you have your Bibles. The Bible reads in the first verse, Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Now let's get a picture here. Uh, uh, we read through chapter 2 and the, uh, the disciples and all of those that were in the upper room, the Holy Spirit had come in and, uh, and filled all of them. And they began to speak with tongues as the Spirit give utterance. Uh, and uh, after this great event, uh, they began uh, to deal with the people uh, in that area. Uh, those that were coming from many different uh, cities, they came around different cities and countries. They came and they heard the disciples speaking in their own language. And Peter had gotten up and, uh, and preached the sermon, his first sermon after the Holy Ghost fell. 3,000 people were added to the church. They were uh, People were being saved and delivered. Can you see and feel the power of the anointing uh, that was upon them? Uh, it carried on. Even as we go into this chapter, uh, they had left that setting where all of these miraculous things had happened. And Peter preached to them. Them and uh, let them know that the one that they crucified was the Christ and, and uh, uh, told them many things about themselves and he said they should repent uh, of their wrongdoings and, and, uh, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, many of them did. As I mentioned, about 3,000 was added to the church after that one sermon. And here uh, we're, we're going uh, now to a different setting, but yet the power of the Holy Ghost was, was uh, upon Peter and John and the disciples and all of them uh, that were with them in the upper room. They were uh, endowed with the power, endowed with authority from the Holy Ghost. And here uh, we find that uh, Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Well, uh, uh, let's calculate the ninth hour. If we calculate from sunup, usually that's around six o'clock. From sunup to the ninth hour would put us uh, uh, right around 3 p.m. Uh, in that uh, and that time zone, if we calculate uh, by the times and the clocks that we have today, uh, but uh, around the ninth hour, this was uh, the hour of prayer. And a certain man, lame from his birth, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a blind man, and this is how he made his living. He went to the gate of the temple and, and asked people for money uh, as they went through so uh, he could supply his livelihood. Uh, well, people do it today, uh, uh, so uh, it was done at that time, and, and sometimes people give and sometimes people didn't give. Uh, but he was there asking alms. Uh, uh, he, uh, he then, as we read verse 3, who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. Uh, and Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, with John said, "Look on us! Look on us!" Uh, and uh, he gave heed unto them, uh, ex expecting to receive something from them. Uh, then Peter said, uh, "Silver and gold have I none, uh, but such as I have, give I thee. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, rise up and walk." Doesn't that just send uh, uh, send chills all over your body? In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, rise up and walk. And he took him 
uh, by the right hand and lifted him up and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength uh, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple uh, walking and leaping uh, and praising God. Uh, well when God does something that miraculous it'll cause you to praise him. Uh, it causes all those around him to praise God the God of the highest who did them uh, did this for him. Uh, he was walking and leaping and praising God. Uh, verse 9, and all the people saw him walking and praising God. Uh, get the picture? Many of them had, had walked through that gate many times and they saw this same man there. Uh, the same man asking uh, uh, them of an arm. So they had his, uh, the, uh, his, his face in their mind. They knew who he was because this wasn't the first time he was there asking alms. Uh, they knew exactly who he was. Uh, and we read verse 10, and they knew that it was was he who sat uh, for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Uh, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. Uh, and as the lame man who was healed held Peter and John, uh, all the people ran together unto them uh, in the porch uh, that is called Solomon's, uh, uh, that is called Solomon's. Uh, greatly wondering. What were they wondering? How did this happen to you? Can you see him there with Peter uh, holding them? Well, anytime something that spectacular happened to you, the one that you see, that's the one you want to talk to. That's the one you want to uh, you want to hug and, and embrace because they did such a wonderful thing. That was the case. This man was there holding Peter and John. Then all the people, they, they began to wonder, how did this thing happen? Uh, can you see how God can take circumstances and get glory out of them? Uh, this man, lame from birth, uh, been asking on for many years, uh, and God healed him uh, miraculously right there through uh, Peter and John. <coughs> And I want you to uh, take note uh, that Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, rise up and walk. Uh, well, he didn't just go and do it on his, on his own, uh, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, he told him to rise up and walk. Uh, and what he uh, said, uh, the man, he took him by the right hand and the, the man received strength in his ankle bones uh, and began to walk and leap and praise God. Uh, can you imagine the scene, especially for all of those that that have seen him for many years uh, out there asking alms. Uh, shall we continue reading in uh, verse 12? And when Peter saw it, uh, he answered the people, uh, Ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Uh, or, or why look ye on so earnestly on us uh, as though by our own power or holiness uh, we had made this man walk? Uh, now that's a key verse, and I want you to get it in your spirit. Uh, I don't care what God does through you. Uh, you have to point it back to him. Uh, God would work through many of us more uh, if we had that spirit to let people know this is not me. Uh, but the first thing most of us do, we'll get the big head and start saying, look at me. Uh, look what I've done. But but Peter got their attention. Uh, ye men of Israel, why marvel at this? Or, or why look ye so earnestly on us? Uh, you're looking at us uh, as though by our own power or holiness, uh, we had made this man walk. Uh, Peter letting them know that it wasn't us that did it. Uh, he's going to point him to God. Uh, verse 13, the God of Abraham and of Isaac uh, and of Jacob, uh, uh, the God of our fathers, uh, has glorified uh, his son Jesus, uh, whom you delivered up and denied uh, in the presence of Pilate uh, when he uh, was de determined to let him go. Uh, can you see, the, see what Peter's doing? Uh, he's using this same thing uh, 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 to, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ and to let them know uh, what they did to Jesus. Uh, let me tell you, it stirs people up when you tell them about themselves. And Peter was bold enough. Uh, he was bold enough to just let them know exactly what, what uh, uh, had transpired. Uh, let me read it again. Verse 13. Uh, the God of Abraham uh, uh, and of Isaac and of Jacob, uh, the God of our fathers, have glorified his son Jesus, uh, whom ye delivered up uh, and denied in the presence of Pilate uh, when he was determined to let him go. Uh, 
Uh, Peter brought it to their attention. Uh, uh, Pilate wanted to let Jesus go. Uh, and you were so adamant. Uh, you wanted him crucified. Uh, you wanted him dead. Uh, well, Peter brought this up to their attention. Uh, let's read verse 14. Uh, but he denied the, the Holy One uh, and the just uh, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Peter just letting them know what it uh, like it was. Uh, they wanted Barabbas to be released. Uh, read the gospel of uh, uh, each of the gospels. Read them. Uh, they wanted Barabbas to be released, uh, and Barabbas was uh, uh, was a murderer. He was a thief, uh, but yet they wanted him to be released uh, and Jesus to be crucified. Uh, Peter just reminding them of their own deeds. Uh, verse fifteen: uh, and killed the Prince of Life, uh, whom God hath raised from the dead, uh, of which we were, we are witnesses. Uh, we saw it with our own eyes. Uh, he was raised from the dead. Verse 16, and uh, uh, his name, uh, through faith in his name, uh, have made this, this man strong, uh, whom ye see and know. Uh, yea, the faith which is by him uh, hath given him this perfect soundness uh, in the presence of you all. Uh, so get what Peter is saying to them. Uh, this same one that you crucified, uh, this same one that you said was nothing, uh, this same one that you put to death, uh, God has raised them up, uh, and it is by his name that we've done this. Uh, it is in the name of Jesus uh, that this man uh, is now able to walk. Uh, can you see how even we have to point everything to Jesus, uh, regardless to what what happens through us uh, or what happens to us. Uh, we have to know that it is our Lord. Uh, it is Jesus uh, that grants it uh, and not we ourselves. Uh, shall we read verse 17? And now, brethren, uh, I know that uh, through ignorance ye did this, uh, as did also your fathers. In other words, Peter saying through ignorance, you didn't know any better. You just didn't know. But now you know. I'm letting you know. Shall we read on in verse 18? But those things which God before had shown by the mouth of all his prophets, uh, the Christ should suffer, that Christ should suffer, uh, he hath so fulfilled. Can you get the picture? All of the things that were wrote in the Old Testament scripture uh, all the way back and I've been quoting them down through this uh, each session uh, or, or parts of uh, the sessions that we have been recording. Uh, I, I told you that and went to the Old Testament scripture. Uh, Isaiah uh, chapter 9. Uh, Isaiah chapter 53. Uh, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 talking about his virgin birth. Uh, all of these passages of scripture. Uh, we went to the book of Joel. Uh, even in the, as we opened up the book of Acts, uh, uh, talking about the Holy Ghost, we went to uh, we went to Micah, uh, talking about Jesus, and even in the way he came into Jerusalem. Uh, all of these things Peter's saying uh, have been fulfilled, uh, letting us know that Jesus is the Christ. Uh, shall we read verse 19? Uh, he said, then repent therefore uh, and be converted. Uh, repent means to turn around. It's not no big to do. I don't know where we get some of the stuff we come up with uh, in the day that we live, but it simply means to turn around. Uh, you're going the wrong direction, turn around. Uh, well, Peter told him, uh, repent therefore and be converted. Uh, converted means be changed. Repent means to turn around. Convert means to change. Uh, that your sins may be blotted out uh, when the, the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Let me read that again. Verse 19. Repent therefore and be converted uh, that your sins may be blotted out uh, when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Uh, repent, turn around, convert, be changed uh, uh, that your sins may be blotted out. Uh, that's how simple it is. Uh, shall we read verse 20? Uh, and he shall send Jesus Christ, uh, whom before was preached unto you. Uh, he shall send Jesus Christ, uh, whom before was preached unto you. As we read verse 21, uh, whom the heavens must receive until the time of uh, restitution, of all things, uh, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets 
since the age began. Uh, Peter letting him know that everything is written there in the book. Everything, read the Old Testament scriptures. It was wrote there about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All of the evidence uh, was fulfilled in Jesus. Uh, shall we read verse 22? Verse 22. For Moses truly said unto you, the fathers, uh, uh, said unto the fathers, uh, for Moses truly said unto the fathers, uh, a prophet uh, shall the Lord uh, your God raise up unto you uh, of your brethren, uh, like unto me. Uh, him shall ye hear in all things, uh, whatever he shall say unto you. Uh, well, he's talking about Jesus. Uh, well, shall we read verse 23? Uh, and it shall come to pass that every soul uh, whom uh, uh, who will not hear that prophet uh, shall be destroyed uh, from among the people. Uh, you can't get no plainer than that. Uh, it, whoever does not hear him, uh, whoever does not hear the one raised up, uh, whoever, whoever does not hear our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, shall be destroyed from among the people. Uh, shall we read verse 24? Uh, Yea, uh, and all the prophets from Samuel uh, uh, and those who followed after, uh, as many as have spoken, uh, have likewise foretold of these days. Uh, well, it's all wrote there in black and white. Uh, read it for yourself the Old Testament scriptures. Uh, it talks about Jesus. Uh, it points to Jesus. Uh, it proves everything that Jesus de did uh, was being fulfilled, uh, was fulfilling scripture. Uh, well, let me read on verse 25. Uh, Ye are the sons of the prophets uh, and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, uh, saying unto Abra Abraham, uh, and in thy seed shall all the kindred uh, of the earth be blessed. Uh, this was a promise uh, to Abraham, in thy seed. Uh, this was before Isaac was even born. Uh, he promised. Uh, well, well uh, even when, when Sarah could not even bear a child, uh, God promised him, uh, through you shall all, uh, all of the nations uh, of the world be blessed, uh, and in thy seed shall all the kindred uh, of the earth be blessed. Uh, Jesus, uh, you can track him all the way back to Abraham. Uh, well, shall we read, uh, uh, we read uh, verse 26. Unto you, uh, first God, uh, having raised up his son Jesus, uh, sent him to bless you uh, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Uh, well, Jesus came. He came to bless you. Jesus came to turn you from your iniquities. He came to turn you for, from your sin. Uh, well, uh, uh, G uh, Peter told him as we, we track this, this chapter uh, that you're the one. You killed him. You crucified him. Uh, you rejected him, uh, but now he's saying repent. Uh, it's not too late for you. Repent. Uh, turn. Uh, turn. Uh, be converted. Change uh, from your iniquities. Uh, and God will bless you. Let me read verse Verse 26, uh, unto you first God, uh, having raised his son Jesus, uh, sent him to bless you. Uh, this is why he came. He came to bless you uh, in turning away every one uh, of you from his iniquities. Uh, he come to change you. Uh, he come to turn you around. Uh, he come to give you a better life, uh, an abundant life. Uh, he come to bless you. Uh, and I want you to know he will bless you. Uh, all you have to do is trust him. Uh, he will pour out his blessings upon you. Uh, I am a witness. Uh, he will do things for you uh, that you don't even believe possible. Uh, all you have to do is turn to him. Uh, just repent of your sins. Uh, let him convert you. Let him change you. Uh, and he will bless you. Uh, well, I want you to know I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, if you would like to contact me for any reason, uh, if you would like to send a tax deductible gift to this ministry, or ask me a question, uh, you can Write me uh, at the Word with Chester Ministries, uh, Post Office Box 200483, uh, San Antonio, Texas, uh, 78220. Uh, you can also contact me at my website, uh, www.poemsbychester.com. Uh, remember, I love you, my friends. Uh, I love you with the love of the Lord. God bless you.